welcome back. And we are getting ready to move into our Grace and You segment. And I have to tell you, <laughs> in here smells so delicious. That's right. Good man. morning, Chef Duane. Buenos morning to you guys. Buenos morning to all the Gracians out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have a very special recipe lined up for today, right? Yes, right. This is a fun Friday. We're going to have fun with it, of course. Back uh -huh. line. But um, this is come. This is uh, really something that's really touched me. Um, I've been approached by uh, the uh, Blue Adventure people. These are con conservationists. Conservationists. Yeah. They're um, trying to the lionfish. You hear about the lionfish, right? Mm -hmm. Eat the lion. Well, um, this is a very um, elusive fish, right? Mm -hmm. It was brought in, you know, aquarium fish. That pretty fish you see out there. Yeah. You know, so these these people they go they make tournaments. Mm -hmm. They were giving like a hundred dollars for each fish they caught in it's in Kikaka, yeah. San Pedro. They ask the fishermen go out and get it. Why? Because they're they're killing our the lobsters. They eat That's everything. Right. They eat the parrot fish. They, they eat, eat lobster. All the baby fishes that they're not supposed to, to eat. eat. Yeah. Right, right. They're big on that. And um, from Grupa, go right down. By the time the fisherman thinking he have lobster in a trap. This fish get in there and just tear up the trap. So um, mm. and it's a it's a very good fish, right? Yeah. And I, I want to big on that. I myself as a chef is big on that. So what I'm doing, um, partnering up with these guys, getting out there, yeah. shipping it out like this, and 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 it's the same process you use for any other fish. It's and it's very, a delicious fish. It is delicious. The texture yeah. is uh, it's not that soft. You know, it's firm. Right, it's very firm fish. Um, ceviche yeah. is good, um, but it, it comes in. in I'm noticing it comes in um, highs and lows. Okay. Because um, when the lobster is seasoned, they they wreak, they wreak havoc on the lobster traps. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, go there, ask for it. Yeah. Right. And that's 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 the number one thing. Like the only way we can cut down on the population of lionfish. Uh, is to eat it. To eat, eat it. it a lot. So right. go to your restaurant, request it, mm -hmm. and uh, if they're anything like Chef Duane, they're gonna find a fantastically creative way to put it together. That's right. That's so right. So tell us what we're doing today. All right. And can we take a look at the lionfish? Yes, so let's... we know what the lionfish usually yes. looks like. It's a, it's a very that's a whole different look for it there. Right. This is, uh, has been shaved. Like yeah. A couple it of looks days like ago, a right? one day sh after shave kind of look. But if you see this fish in the water you almost want to go up there and touch it yeah. which is a big no because they do carry poison mm -hmm. there's five on the spikes on the spikes there's five big spikes coming down the back they're all poison to, um, the fishermen they they know how to clean it you ask them to clean it of course they sell you don't clean and everything else don't be afraid of it it's only in the spikes the poison is what they do with they, they um they have two horns up front but they, they hold down, they clamp down on the, the small juvenile fish mm -hmm. and they'll take the front spike and they will inject the poison mm. straight through. And I, um, for uh, health, Belize Health uh, Bureau has just issued, I don't know if the, the, the barracuda yes. is very um, toxic, ar toxic around this time of the year. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, they've had some fish poisoning taking a lot place, of fish poison and so they're through, saying not right, to eat not big to, grief fish. Right, big fish, barracudas, um, wahoos, and stuff like that. Yeah. I think it's a time of the year the toxic, uh, for some reason, get around, right? Mm -hmm. I've been hearing that forever since I've been okay. doing fish, all right? But this fish is very, very nice, right? Um, so what I have here, I got some already deboned yeah. um, uh, out. All right, and you could scale, use scale. It's all ready. If you wanted fillet, you could go ask your fisherman to fillet. fillet it for you. Excellent, beautiful fillet. Leave the skin on. The skin is the texture. The skin is the the nutrient. The, um, the, all the omegas they're they're in the skin. Okay. You would believe that the omegas will be in the flesh, mm -hmm. but the omegas they're in the skin. You need that every day. We need to have that with us. All right. Oh. So what I've got here is um, I'll just use the medium one. Okay. All right. See, they're very beautiful, and the tail. It looks like a fan here. Mm -hmm. Actually, they export it. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a big market. It's a big um export in the market for jewelry. Yeah, we have uh, artisans down south that, that make jewelry they, they with go, it as well. Yeah. Go for it. Get some um, lionfish jewelry also. All right. The big chains and people who they're asking for this stuff, right? So I'm just gonna um core it. Okay. Season. All right. And it's like any other fish. It's, it's gonna cook very fast. Ex yeah. Excellent. Depending on the size, you know, yeah. you you know, and this, you know, we like to leave fry fryers, mm -hmm. 
you know. So when you don't get the market, man, this is a uh, this fish, my fishmonger, the guy who <laughs> chased down this fish all all the time for me. Uh -huh. um, he's very he's very good. He's doing a, he's doing very good job on that. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I have here, okay. I'm gonna keep it very simple. For me, it's just salt and pepper. I don't want to over. Yeah. I don't want to overpower yeah. everything else, right? So I'm gonna use the all-purpose. This is new from Grace. Uh -huh. All right. The all-purpose is new from Grace, and um, it says right here. See. No MSG. Perfect. That's they're, they're good. Yeah. It's a it's a newcomer. Mm -hmm. It has no MSG on there, which is um. There you go. You don't want it to counteract with your fish, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna douse this on here. Mm. All right. So that I mean that's an all-in-one product. That's you don't need anything else. Exactly. For that. Exactly. It's very nice. It's very light. You could see the colantro in there. You could see the different seasoning in there. All right. Mm -hmm. So we got that. You set that aside. Okay. You set the fish aside. Okay. All right. So what yeah, do we my, need to do? My now? little cutting board is bigger than <laughs> bigger <laughs> than the fish. Your fish, fish is, is bigger, bigger than, than the cutting right. board. So I hope I hope not my frying pan. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. What I'm what I'm preparing here uh -huh. is a very simple. We call it the mise en place for um, cooking. I, I love this. This is very easy. Okay. Easy way, right? So we're gonna cut some uh, some red. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna chunk this up because what I'm gonna do with it, we're going in a blender. Uh huh. We're going into the blender. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put some red, some yellow in there. Yeah. All right. Um. Enhance ginger. 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 Fish and ginger go good oh, together, the, yeah. The, the ginger brings out the flavor that. of that fish really, real nice, mm -hmm. all right? Perfect. I got that in there. Now, I don't want to overpower, so I'm just going to add a lime. Okay. A sliver of lime, all right? Whole. Whole, with the skin. With the skin. Okay. Love it. Lime is freshness. Yeah. Lime is freshness. So you see, I didn't, I didn't lime down the fish or anything. I just washed it down. Mm -hmm. And um, you could do a little vinegar, grace vinegar and stuff. All right. So I'm just gonna um, pop that in there. Mm -hmm. So we got some um, bells. We got red, uh, red pepper, mm -hmm. yellow pepper, ginger, ginger and, and a little, little bit of lime. lime uh, and uh, a little. Can't forget. Can't forget the garlic. That's right. All right. Get that in there. Okay. So I'll just pop that in there too. Mm -hmm. And I'm going with mint. Ooh. Mint is. Um, Again, refreshing. Yeah. Palate cleanser. Good for you. Good oil. Mm -hmm. I combine, you know, I, com I what I do with Grace, I combine this. And yeah. What else goes in there? Um, that's about it. Oh, that is the just the mint in there. But um, what I'm going to hit it up with some... Uh, we need some liquid. We need some yeah. liquid in there. I'm yes, to out how you're <laughs> do that. Yeah. What we have here, coconut oil. Grace, coconut, you know, Grace is going nuts, right? Mm. Grace is going totally nuts, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna um, shake that a little bit oh, in there. Gonna be delicious. Right? I'm gonna. I don't want to put too much. I just want like a paste. Mm -hmm. You know, just a paste. All right. Then if you want to get, you go add your heat to it. Your pepper. Your pepper. You mm -hmm. want to add some pepper to it, but I'm gonna hold on the pepper right now. Oh. You could add. You could add curry. You uh -huh. could add curry to it. The grace has a nice. Fish. They, yeah. They have a nice spice curry. But we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna today. keep it simple. I want to keep it simple All today. Right. All right, noise machine. Yeah. All right. Shake that up there a little bit. Yeah. See everybody, it happens in all our kitchens. Oh yeah. Now, uh, do you want to get it uh, liquidy or you want to get some chunks you left in there too? You want to get some chunks in there? Yeah. Because you have, you want a bite. Okay. You want a bite of garlic. You want mm -hmm. a bite of ginger here and there. You want some bell peppers in there, here and there. Okay. And the lime, the lime will go through everything, right? Get then, in there. Right. Then like a day before, you could up it a day before. Set it off one side. Yeah. You know. Just a little bit more. Perfect. 
this is what we so got. So we have that. We have some finished product too, don't yes, we? Yes, we have yeah. some finished one. All right. Mmm. Coconut in there and everything else in there. That I have some ginger finished one. Ginger and mint together mm -hmm. smells delicious. All right. After we finish all that, that's what this it's is what gonna we got. look like. All right. All right. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Yeah. So we have a sauce. We, we have, have a seasoned sauce. Fish. We got the fish. All right. So. We're gonna bring our menu on. Pass me some of those uh, tamales, fish ah, tamales. I was See, wondering we went into something what totally this was different, for. right? What are we doing here? Hojas, leaves, hojas of tamales. Okay. All right? So you get go down to your market, mm -hmm. right? You will clean them off, all right? They're already they're they're already steamed. That's yeah. why they got that color. They're already clean, but still we wanna. You always clean them, extra just in case. Right, yeah. Right. Right. And this needs no oil. Yeah. You know why? Because it has oil the in it. The amount of oil in this is so good. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just grab another plate. Voila. Okay. All right. So we have. This is getting interesting. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Yes. The Tamales Fish Factory. All right. So you got your fish done already, right? You got your fish done. What you're gonna do is just a little. Don't afraid. Be afraid of your hands, you know. Oh, so that's why you want it more, more pasty. Paste, right. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the liquid in here will just steam away, and the liquid will penetrate through okay. the fish with the oil from the tamales leaf, right? Interesting. So huh? we've we've made her bed. There you go. There mm -hmm. she goes. All right. So I'm just gonna add some uh, tomato, tomato. Okay. Potato, potato, same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. All right. We have all that good. We have all that good That's gumption gonna be in so here. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna scoop, scoop some of this mixture. Mm -hmm. See, you got you got chunks in there. Oh, so you're not gonna use a lot of it. It's no. just a little. Right. You, you, what you, you you take the leftover. Mm -hmm. You want you want to make extra mm -hmm. for the leftover. All right. What I usually like to do is go inside. And get it in the fish. All, all the way inside there. All right. Then, then again, you could stuff this with, you know. Anything you anything want. Anything you want. But yeah. I'm going mint inside. Yeah. It will just overpower, get a little powering in there. And that will excellent. Stuff fish. Okay. So, tamales wrap. Right. That's it. Remember, you're gonna have a. It's gonna be messy. Okay. You're gonna have a good, lot of liquid coming out, but hey. The kitchen is messy sometimes. That's right. If you're not messy, not working. All right. Do we need another leaf. We need another one. Another um, bed. It's like Let gift me, wrapping. Right. Okay. Take your time. You know, you you make this a day ahead. All right. And um, the texture I like with this fish, man, it's firm. Yeah. It holds. It's not flaking away, right? So you can really enjoy. You it. could right, okay. I didn't give you a big enough leaf. So what do we do with that now? All right. So you set us set it aside. Give okay. it like 10, 15 minutes. Marination, marination. Okay. Right. Put it in your fridge. Uh huh. Put it in the fridge. Let it sit there. Get a um. You got one of these at home. Uh huh. What I did, put some. Uh, Coconut, okay, coconut oil. oil, and you wanna put it on there. All right. Right. Now what I also you see the the garlic and the ginger. Yeah, you have it on the grill. On the grill. What I do is I season, season the grill. Not only that, but you don't want your house smell fishy, <laughs> right? But the tamales. Now, some leaf, people might be jealous if the house smells no, like uh, deliciously fish. cooked fish. That's right. Yeah. What is he doing over yeah. there? Yeah. You know? okay. Why didn't he invite me over for dinner? Yep. Yeah. Is it is it fish or something? It's more like fish or tamales. Yeah. <laughs> when you say they tamales, they just don't know that you would do a fish, fish tamales. Tamales, exactly. It's um, I love it. So we just have coconut oil just there, a little, oil. a little couple slices of ginger, ginger uh -huh. and we're rubbing it with right. a head of garlic. Right. Well, half a head half, of garlic. Half a head of garlic, right? And you're going to cook it on the grill? On top? the grill, right. Mm -hmm. So um, let me just put this there on the side there. There we 
All right. Hello. Now remember, the cook time, the prep time is like 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Cook time, depending on the size, mm -hmm. take another 20 minutes. That's right? it. And so you do it. 10 and 10? 10 and 10. You could take a stick, you could poke it in there. Uh -huh. Just like a cake. Uh -huh. You'll see the difference. You'll check the moisture on the fish. All right. Oh. What I do, do, um, you want to pass me that frying pan there? Okay. Oh, I know what you do. That. Top it off. To get the steam, the steam right. to work faster. Mm -hmm. See, I know a thing or two. Yes. All right. The cameraman's mad he didn't get to see it. Do you want to see it? There you there go. You go. Uh -huh. That's what it looks like. And then I'll, I'll put the piece of garlic Early. in there too. And I'm smelling more the garlic and ginger yeah. than the... It doesn't smell like fish. No, it doesn't smell like That's fish. That's what I like yeah. with the lion fish. It doesn't have that fishy fish. Yeah. You know, you, you know the girls at no, the office. No, it's true. Some are strong. Some, some fish have a stronger fish smell than others. Right. I think so, that's when they go to the market. That's what they're looking at. Yeah. The scent and, and everything else. The lion fish. It has not not a fishy scent. It's you you could mm. cook it and you won't get that overpowering fishy scent in your kitchen. So, ten minutes on one side. side you would flip, flip it, it to over the other. And and what will it look and, like? Okay, we have one here. Time. Of course, All right. because we have uh, mastered the TV cooking, this, right? That's right. This is how fast 20 minutes 20 minutes, <laughs> right. Our time. Slow motion time. Yeah. All right. Um, you want your char. So you're going to leave it. It's going to get a little bit black, black on the side. Black on the side, yeah. right? That's the flavor from the leaf, from the oha, the tamale leaf, right? All right. I want to see what this looks like. Look at right? that. We got a nice fish there. Remember now, you you set your sauce aside. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's let me get back here with this. Oh, it needs to be. Yeah. All right. You want to cook off that sauce a little bit? Uh huh. Oh, you can smell that. It smells so good. You could smell that. All yeah. right. But what I'm adding here? Mm hmm. Some mixed veg. Okay. Some mixed veg. Some potatoes. Some carrot. Make Grace make it easier for you, yeah. right? All right, I'm just gonna let that steam down a little bit. Yeah. All right. And then. And then we're gonna add. Oh, so it won't go to it waste. It won't go to waste. Perfect. Right. And this, you could take this along with almost anything. All right. Yeah, because it's it's coconut milk and vegetables oh. and a little bit of mint. All right. So you're cooking a sauce and you'll put it on right. top? Right, mm -hmm. because um, we got some uh, fresh greens in there. You mm -hmm. want them to a little softer, a little moist. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is a very, very nice fish. You want to add, you could add your pepper to it. Now you add a little, voila. Yes. All right. Pepper, please. Pepper, please. That's right. And that next thing too, Belize, this pepper sauce is made right here in Belize. Mm. It's one of the greatest uh, very so good that production. means it has the veggie base, base that we love. Right, yeah. right. This one is made right here in Belize and it's excellent. Go on everything. And then there's more. You could you could add more curry to it if you want. No, I don't want curry. You want, I want that veg that and cooked uh, milk. That's right. All right. I'm, I'm telling and him how I want to eat it. That's yeah. what I like with Grace. It's very flexible. You could add the jerk to it. All right. And that's easy. Voila. Done. That's it? Done. Done. Put it here. We go. Put it on the side. Oh, that's such All a right. good dish. Like when well, semi serre already, you notice yeah. it, right? Yeah. So then you could com you could compare it with um, mm. you could put along the rice if you want coconut rice. You want it has your... its pretty dress mm -hmm. with the tomato mm -hmm. sleeve. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the lime. There you have it. And that's a uh... coconut. Let's get it to the front. Mm -hmm. so pretty right. So. And that is your coconut lion fish. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. Excellent. So everybody will think you're cooking tamales, but it's not. It's fish. And you notice we don't have that fishy yeah. scent. In it's here. the same way when you eat it. You know you go out for a lunch date, you don't want fish because you want to smell like this. Uh -huh. and when you back go back to the office, and, yeah. And mint and all this. No. Mm -hmm. Go ask for the lion fish. Demand lion fish. You, you don't have it, you go back next time, you got your lionfish. Yeah. Good. All right. All well, right. Dwayne, thank you so much for sharing this recipe with us. It was definitely a lot easier. And I, I think one of the things, too, is that you're also helping out uh, 
what the, the efforts of the conservationists in being able to protect your reef. Once again, go to your favorite restaurant and order lion lionfish. Fish. Go to Matafish That's right. and order this special right. uh, la like. coconut lionfish Matafish, Matafish style. Right. What I do with it on, on Fridays, I have a fish Friday. Uh -huh. And my fish Friday is coming back starting next week, Friday. Oh. Right, so um, at the BTL Park, lionfish tacos. I have my followers uh, get down there for some lionfish tacos every Friday. I love fish for tacos. For lunch. So I, I got to put in my order, right? It is excellent. It so is excellent. anything happening with Grace that we I need know to they're working on a big project at the yeah. expo. Yeah. The, the, the promotions they're having, man, is off the wall. It is ridiculous. All right, so you want to get in there early. Nobody wants to tell me what they're doing for Expo yet. I guess I have to wait till September gets here, then somebody will start slipping the secrets. But we know Grace does it big That's right. for Expo. That's so right. we're looking forward to get the details of that. Chef Dewayne, thank you so much for this wonderful recipe. In here smells delicious. This is so easy. You saw us do it right here. And uh, definitely give it a try at home. That's right? right, that's right. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and we will be back in a few. Okay, I'm going to get into this fish. Mm -hmm. 